Hello, I'm William A. Van Horn, MD, a geriatric neuropsychiatrist who specializes in dementia. I've worked with thousands of patients suffering with dementia, including Lewy body dementia. Lewy body dementia is a difficult disease. It's more difficult in general, just pure Alzheimer's. And basically what Lewy body dementia is, is a mixture between Alzheimer's, which is the decay of the brain, the formation of amyloid plaques resulting in memory loss, progressive memory loss that can lead to disability. It's also combined with Parkinson's disease, which is there's a problem with a chemical called dopamine in another part of the brain, and that part of the brain is dying, so people are not getting enough dopamine. Therefore, they have problems with movement, problems with gait, problems with stance, problems with balance. So what you have with Lewy body versus Alzheimer's, where people don't have the gait problems, they don't have the dopamine problem, is you have a person who's having problems with their balance and is losing their memory at the same time. There's some other cardinal features about Lewy body dementia that are different as well. One of them is visual hallucinations. Visual hallucinations aren't that common with pure Alzheimer's, but they are very common with Lewy body dementia. It's actually quite fascinating to watch. I've had patients come in and they'll be sitting there with me as I'm adjusting their medications and they'll look around the room and they'll see a deer or they'll see a dog or they'll see children walking. Very common. they'll look out the window and watch children. I had one Lewy body dementia patient who would go into the one room and just sit there and talk to these friends that he met through his visual hallucinations. The other cardinal feature of it is they have what's called a fluctuating consciousness. That means that, like with Alzheimer's, they're pretty much whatever level of cognition they have is pretty consistent over years. Like it'll go down over years, but day to day, they're pretty much the same. See, with Lewy body dementia, you can have one point where they're really, really confused, and an hour later, they're much, much sharper. We call that a fluctuating consciousness. So the cardinal features of Lewy body dementia are number one, cognitive loss, memory loss. Number two, balance problems, gait problems. Number three, fluctuating consciousness. And number four, visual hallucinations. Now, does that mean you can't help people with Lewy body dementia? Absolutely not. We help people all the time, dramatically help people with Lewy body dementia. In fact, I get a lot of patients sent to me because the doctor says we've tried everything and nothing works. Well, I can tell you right now, if you have a family member who's suffering with Lewy body dementia, and the doctor working with them, with them is not being successful, the odds are is because they're not doing everything that can be done. What I tell families is dementia is the brain dying in different areas. And it's like a boat where the bottom is rotting and the, there's get, holes are developing in the bottom of the boat and so it's starting to sink. Lewy body dementia has more holes than Alzheimer's does. But we have a lot of good medications that we can use to plug those holes. On a neurological level, just think about your brain as an electrochemical factory with all these wires and nerves going through, chemicals flowing through them. What's happening with Lewy body dementia is the chemicals are getting low in important parts of the brain. And as they get low, the person suffers more and they have more symptoms. Well, we have medications that we can boost those chemicals in those different neural networks and start to try to restore those neural networks. Now, can we stop the disease? No, that isn't the goal. The goal when I see a person, someone with Lewy body dementia, is that they sleep all night, they wake up fresh in the morning, they're experiencing pleasure, and their behavior is under control enough that they can have a wonderful relationship with you, that you can go out to dinner with them, that you can sit down and watch TV, and so on. And I can say that we accomplish that with medications. About 75 to 90% of the time, we accomplish those goals, and maybe even more. It's hard to say exactly the numbers, but the point is, don't give up on your family member because some doctor says there's nothing else we can do. There are many things you can do to dramatically improve the quality of life for your loved one who has Lewy body dementia and for yourself, as you know, dealing with someone like that and for the entire family. Thank you for listening.